Hey guys, so welcome. Welcome back from realizing that you are deathless, that you are immortal, that you are eternal, that the body cannot touch you, that the body's death cannot even touch you. Feels good, does it not? That is because it's true. Now in this lesson, we'll discover a little bit more or explore a little bit more about our tendency to become attached to things, to appearances. You know, famous sayings by spiritual teachers and the Buddha that attachment is the cause of suffering, etc. While I slightly disagree and I see the belief in lack to be the ultimate cause of all of human suffering, psychological suffering especially, yes, attachment is one of the manifestations of having an underlying belief in lack. So now that we've explored what the person is based of, what it's created out of, and that it's meaning giving definitions are optional and not our true reality. And that if we've explored that the I am is independent from the appearances and our thoughts and emotions and our personhood. Now that we've discovered even and tasted and glimpsed our eternal deathless nature, we have the freedom to look at our attachments once again. And this is sort of the last of the yogic or masculine, masculine lessons of this particular course. Um, the next chapter will be softer in that sense. It will balance the wisdom side more with the love side of spirituality, of realization, of being yourself. And so when we discover more accurately why we become attached to things, again, clarity is key. When we see very clearly that mechanism operate in us that causes the contraction, that causes the attachment to a particular object out of all of our existence, all of our beingness, all of the I am presence. It is one appearance that we latch onto and we give meaning to and we derive this sense of well-being from and then we fear that it's taken away from us. All because we believe underlying that, that there is the potential for lack. So in this lesson, although the idea of lack and empowering yourself to transform those beliefs is the domain of the third teaching or the empowerment teaching. Nevertheless, it is very crucial that we at least briefly touch upon it in the enlightenment course, in the self-realization way or path. So that at least you have some basic understanding of what causes the human suffering. And you see more clearly how you have the tendency to project your happiness out into things where really we want to re-empower ourselves. We want to reclaim our initial well-being by realizing that the fountain of joy, the fountain of satisfaction is always already present and it's here within ourselves. Sounds cliche, but that's what we all wish to discover. Not only the independence of our being, but also the independence of our happiness, of our freedom, of our well-being, of our satisfaction. And so this lesson will help us explore more clearly why we get attached to certain things so that when you see this operate in your own life, it's very easy to rest beyond it and let that tendency go.